Break out the cheesesteaks and beer. We are live at Too Big to Fail Financial Stadium in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, home of the Evils. And this is a mean crowd, and they are looking for blood. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. Oh, no, it's the sticky ball, dirty trick. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Look, he's behind his head. He'll be okay. <laughs> Second down in a mile. the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and five. The quarterback has had enough and called a murder ball dirty trick to lay waste to the defense. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the cube. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with 10 yards on the play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And he picks up about six on the play. Third down and, well, good luck. For six, touchdown, touchdown! And the ref just called a bullshit penalty.
Third down, and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And there goes the ref. Too bad it was supposed to be his last game before he retired, Bricks. Well, he's retired permanently now. At least he'll save some money on the retirement party. Good point. Third down, and the offense needs a miracle. He got mugged! More like a mafia hit. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Brick. It's good! I think I showed my card. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. <laughs> that pass play nets them seven yards. Stay the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. Oh, with the punishing hit! And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh my gosh! The defense player looks like he's lost his mind! Now that's just the berserker. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him! And viewers at home, don't worry, he doesn't have fleas. He's just not a very good dancer. I have fleas and I can't dance that good. I would uh, think you to stay on the other side of the booth, Bricks. <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. Nice run for five yards. Second down and five. And he breaks away. Oh, man, he really wants it. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. He scores! I think I showed him my card. Yeah, man, I was shooting him. Get him now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And 
yards, first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. Second down and seven. And he runs it for four yards. We've got a nail biter at the end of one. Third down and three. And like every one of my barbecues, this guy's on fire. Does he like original or extra crispy? Now looks like extra crispy. And like Rex's bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. the ball man these guys like playing and the ground game is starting to soften up the defense first down and it's first and ten the roid rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic for the duration of the play i know that's typical of all mfl players but this is different it's a touchdown Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring.
First and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Boom! They'll be scraping his pieces off the field for months after that hit. Yeah, you have to admire him, Grim. He really leaves his heart on the field. And his liver, and his lungs, oh, and his skull. Second down and seven. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. First down and five. And he breaks through for a touchdown! Listen to this crowd! Hey, man, nobody can touch you when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Six. <laughs> Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey. Anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecap. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. And it's first and ten. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have mine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. for a first down. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game.
Nicely done for a first down. First and eight to go. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me speed. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We're back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. for a four-yard gain. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. And a nice pass for a ten-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Second down in inches. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. Kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I he dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. Second down and ten. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? First down. I see this guy drop a 
lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And it's first and ten. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> you know, this berserk 30 trick ain't fair to kill me. It's like Man, what a hit that was. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the murder ball dirty trick. And he held on to that one for a first down. They might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. Yeah. Second down and more. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Hot one, hot two, hot Punched its way out of that time. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Third down and, well, good luck. Hey. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Pump returners in this league have a life expected. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. That's a catch for a one-yard gain. That's not going to do it, fellas. Second down and nine. A nice run there for eight yards. And that'll bring up third and one. He had it for. 
for a second there. And they'll line up for the punt here. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. a six-yard gain. <laughs> quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one, hot two. Hot. And that's how you run the football. First down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot three. Second down in a very lot. First and ten. And that's some good old fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. Caught for the first down. First and eight to go. Man, this guy just blew up and he's on fire. I'm not talking about one of those video game fire modes. I mean, literally, he's like burning bacon. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay and it's first and ten Grim. 
And this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. They just went zebra hunting and it looks like they got their trophy. First down and forever. The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. Man, it's still edible now. Just gotta escape off the charge parts. Second down and more tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and mag. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? And that'll be second down and four. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. Oh. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grin. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Two minutes left in the game. Thank God I gotta take a wicked dump. Feel like I'm sitting on a wax candle. Not a nice shoulder, you know. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs>
Second down, and, he, and they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, same as Britz's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a compliment. But my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. One more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry up, too? Grim, can I kill him? Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt. But he seems to have worked through it. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a possession. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. He picks up a two. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Second down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot eight. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. First and eight to go. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just... A home field loss for the evil. Man, that can't feel good, Junior. Yeah, I know the feeling. I've been married twice. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Deshaun mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? 
Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...